Good afternoon. This is Reverend Sylvester Hampton. Welcome to my channel, One Man of God Unfiltered. I thank you for allowing me to spend some time with you today. And um, today is going to be one of those lessons that the Holy Spirit um, gave me. And um, once again, I'll give you as he gives me. Um, this lesson is going to be the problems that we have is we have too many fathers, but not enough daddies. We have too many fathers, but not enough daddies. Uh, this lesson is going to, there's a difference between a father and a daddy. And that difference is a relationship. A daddy establishes establishes a relationship with his children. Um, that's the kind of relationship that God wants us to have with Him. He wants us to not only call, not only He wants to be known to us as Daddy instead of Holy Father. A Holy Father is someone that is that is a formal relationship. And the only way that you can establish an informal relationship is through time and relationship and, and contact and a comfort zone. That's what it's, it's supposed to be required when you have your children. You're supposed to have a comfort zone with your children, Dad, to um, so that they will be a you are known as Dad instead of Father. A father is nothing more, any moron could be a father. Um, it's, it just requires you to, to supply sperm. And um, all you are, nothing more than a sperm donor and be a baby daddy. And, 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 um, and you've impregnated a, a woman that you're not married to. That's a father. That's, those are the pookies and the ray rays and the heathens out there that are impregnating women and no, have no desire to have a responsibility. And these women that they're impregnating are women who are uncovered by a father. That goes to why it's so important to have a father in your life. Because he's not only a provider, he is a protector and he is the, the teacher of the children. He trains the children. Those are his children that he's training. And the father is the, is the, is the start of the, the legacy of God on earth. Okay. We have too many fathers and not enough daddies. And, and um, once a man has his children, uh, he, he wants to establish a relationship with his children. Um, and, and another thing is, is that what we have to look at is that those fathers uh, be kicking money in. It's much, it's the, it, to them, it's easier to buy the children all the, the comforts of and the noise and whistles and the, the gadgets and everything and the clothing and everything, but you spend no time with the children to establish a relationship with the children. So how in the world are they supposed to know how a man is supposed to operate if they're never in contact with one? This is the major problem that we have in our society now where all these judges have given the children to the mother thinking that they will do better with the children than the fathers. We have diminished the father's role in the children's life. But I'm here to let you know that you cannot, those women that are that have custody of the children, they cannot have a successful raise a child without the father. You can't. It's impossible. It is impossible for a woman to raise children, a whole child, without the, the, the input in from the father. Amen? It's impossible. I don't care. With all, I, I met, a, I met, three guys over the weekend one guy was a cross dresser and and he's cross dressing like a woman another guy is gay and and another guy 
is is feminine okay so what we what the common denominator in all those guys was a lack of a relationship with their father because they were raised by a dominant mother and the dominant mother raised them t with emotions and with uh, feminine traits. That's what happens when you have a woman trying to raise children without the father. Now, it's devastating because those boys are growing up looking for a dominant female because that's all they see and 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 so they're going to have children with those dominant females and 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 those children if by some chance the dominant female don't leave them uh they're going to be exposed to children their children and their children are going to see a feminine beta man and they're going to grow up looking, doing the same thing, especially the girls. They're going to grow up being domineering and just like their mama. And they're going to be looking for guys who are passive, beta men, simps, men that they can control. That's the problem that we have nowadays. We have too many fathers, but not enough daddies. Uh, but a dad is going to protect the children. He is the covering of those children and the family. He's the covering. You got to have a covering. If you don't have a covering, the family is, is helpless, uncovered. They are helpless and they are doomed to, to um, be chaotic because without the man role model in the family, the, the children have not, not a clue of what a man looks like. So they grow up uncovered. And the father um, needs to have a needs to be a covering to his daughter and son because the father is going to teach the son how to be a dominant male, a, a, a head of household, a man that is supposed to protect his family, and a man that is supposed to, to be the first teacher of the children and a provider. He's going to go out there and slay the dragon and bring the food back and, and, and keep the, the family afloat. He is the main provider. That's his God-given talent that God gave him as a provider. Just as God provides for his, his um, children, the man provides for his children. Okay, that's the, he has the same attributes of God because God put him in charge of this whole earth. Okay, the woman is supposed to be submissive to her own husband, and he is going to he is going to rule over her. Okay, she's never equal to him. The problem that we're having is that women think that they're equal to their husbands, and 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 they are going to interpret the Bible the same as the husband. They're thinking that if they got their, go out there and get an education and they got their PhDs and their master's degrees, that they're better than their husband. No, you're not. You will never. I don't care how many degrees you have. I don't care how much PhD or, or how much master's you got. You never will be over a man. Never. Do you get that? You will never be over a man because God never told you that you will never be over a man. I don't care. I don't care. Get that through your head. You'll never be over a man. You, your whole purpose is man. You're a helper with man. And if you don't get that through your head, I'm going to say it over and over and over again until you get sick and tired of me saying it. That And men, she's not over you. You're the one. You're the prize. You're the prize. Not her. You're the prize. And you're going to bestow on the highest honor that you can bestow on, over on her is wife. And she has to be cooperative with you. She's got to come into your program. You mold her to your specifications, men. You don't do the opposite. You don't mold her. You don't become molded to her. She comes molded to your program. 
You're head of household. You're the pastor of your house. You're the Lord of your house. Do I get that? Do you get that straight? You're the Lord. Not her. Those children belong to you. Not her. She just carried your child, your children for you. She carried them. Just as Mary wasn't Jesus Christ's mama, he never addressed her as mom. He always told, call her woman. He said that hey, I'm down here to do my father's business. You're the children's father. They're here to do your business. The woman carries your child just as Mary carried Jesus. Get that. God doesn't change. His blueprint is the same. And God do not talk to your helper. Never. That voice that she hears Satan in the background talking to her. He's always been talking to her. Getting her all messed up in the head. Thinking that she's better than you. She can't survive without you. She can't. She dies without you. And don't let her fool you into thinking anything else. You're, you are logical. You're logical. God made you that way, not emotion. You're logical. She's emotional and delusional. Okay? And... You're not supposed to get a woman outside the father's covering in the first place. So uh, your wife is in her father's hands right now. That's where you find your wife at. One that's been raised to be a wife. Amen. And you are the, you are the most important element on the face of this earth. You're a man of God and you are... You are established God's legacy through your children. Through your children. You cover that family. You're very important. Without you, they die. I say again. Without the man, the family dies. You're the protector. There's a whole lot of weight on your shoulder. You mold your wife and children to your specification. Every man's different. You mold, it's up to you to mold them how you want them. You don't, a lot of us to get too down gone lazy. Your job is to mold them and they're waiting for you to mold them. They're pliable. Dad. You gotta be establish a relationship with your children. They depend on that. Don't you can't just throw money on, on on in a situation. That's what happens when these women go and go to the judge and get child support payments, and you're just throwing money on the children and not leaving the legacy. Money does not mold a child. A child is is uncovered and unmoldable with a woman. She can't do anything with the children because the children don't belong to her. And that's the problem that we're facing today. Don't allow those judges and, and the, today's laws make you think that those children belong to the woman. They belong to you. She just carries them for you as your wife you don't impregnate a girl um, a woman out there without her being your wife first through holy matrimony that's the way God had intended for your legacy to be brought forth through holy matrimony then y'all get together and have children not the other way around there's no baby daddy and baby mama in the Bible. God never intended that. That's that's a bunch of junk. That's male cow feces. Perpetuated by um, the enemy. No such thing as a baby daddy or a baby mama. 
Get that through your head. Men, you're very important in these children's lives. Without you, they die. And without the woman, they die. I mean, without, the, without you, the woman and children die. You give them life and you sustain life. Get that through your head, how important you really are. You are the prize. Don't let any uh, the enemy fool you. They're going to do everything they can to diminish you. Try to wipe you out of existence. Trying to make you think or make her think that you, they don't need you. Far too many times we've lost our children because um, men have been wiped away and banished from the household. That's a curse on the house. If you don't have a man in your house and you, you left your husband, you threw him out and, and have the children rebel against him, that's a curse on that household. And you your children will never have a successful relationship, marriage. Because you've raised the boys to be simps and beta men and, and unknown of how to be a man. And you raise the girls to not knowing how to pick a husband. Because they've never seen one before. That's how, that's devastating. That's what you've done when you, when you leave your husband. Please, ladies, if you leave your husband, please leave the children with him. Please, I beg you. Because you're not going to do any good with them. You will ruin those children's lives if you try to raise them without the father. Those are his kids. Can't say it enough. Can't say it enough. And it's a serious business. Our families, I'm fighting for the souls of our family. That's what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for that. I dedicate my life to fight for the souls of our families. And the men of God. So, um, it's very important, men. It's up to you. God left you in charge of this earth and left you in charge of over everything. He didn't, he was, it was no accident. That's his blueprint. It's in the Bible. That's his blueprint. That's what he intended to happen. Not the woman. He don't call the woman to do anything. She don't have a legacy to pass on. She don't have a legacy. There's no legacy. A woman has no legacy without the man. The man is her legacy. The man is her purpose. Amen. So, um, I, I just had to get that off and let you know the importance of a daddy versus a father. A father is a sperm donor and all he does is provide the sperm and no responsibilities and he throws money at the situation but he has not he don't give time time is very important to the children the father has to spend time with his children that's how they grow and see what a father is let me tell you something just the mere fact let me show how, how important a man is do you realize that if you, uh, just the mere fact that you, the woman and the children love to be with you. I don't care if you just go into 7-Eleven down the street. Can you imagine? They, they, they will just, just being with you is, is heavenly. You're very important in their lives. Just being with you. Just being with you. I don't, can you imagine, just going to the, I, 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 I wash my car, go to the car wash it, and I look over and I see um, a woman and her children um, sitting up there uh, helping the man dry off the car as it goes through the car wash. That's, that's a beautiful sight because you can tell that that woman just loves the fact that she's with her husband and the children love the fact that they're with their daddy. That's beautiful. That's how it's supposed to be. But we're not going to let Satan destroy our families. We're not. We're going to fight. 
We're going to fight because they're worthy to be, they're worth fighting for. He's not going to have our families. He, he's not. We're going to stand under God's word and we're going to follow God's blueprint. And we're going to use that chain of command that God said that he, he has forth. The chain of command, which is the man and, and the, the women and children follow the man as he follows God. Amen. Follows the man as he follows God. Her husband. Her own husband. I'm not talking about girlfriends or boyfriends, so don't even get that mixed up. I'm talking about holy matrimony. That's the relationship that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Pookie and, and, and the Ray Rays and, and the Queasias and the and the Bay Bays getting together and 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 calling themselves going with each other. That's not a legitimate relationship. I'm talking man, woman, not man, man, not woman, woman. Legitimate relationships, a relationship that that will a man and woman get together and procreate, have babies together. That's the kind of relationship that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the Pookies and the Ray Rays out there. I know that I have to explain it. Because um, you're gonna you're going to say, well, he told you you supposed to do what I tell you to do because you I'm the man and you the woman. That's I'm not talking about that. That's not true. I'm talking holy matrimony. We don't we, in the Bible don't have going boyfriend and girlfriend. And let me tell you something, y'all. If you've been engaged for a, a woman over a year. You are out of line. The only way you can be engaged with a woman for over a year is if the daddy is not there. A man of God will not allow you to be um, um, messing around with his daughter and, and, and not being married. He won't allow that. And the only way that you could do that is, is if you don't have if the woman don't if the girl don't have a father that's covering her. Because a father wouldn't allow his daughter to be uh, um, strung along like that. Either you're going to crap or get off the pot. You're not going to be going with my daughter and 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 so-called um, putting an engagement ring on her, and it's going to like, oh no, no, uh-uh, no, I didn't raise my daughter like that. No, you're going to marry my daughter if you after I bet you I, when is when's the marriage? When's when's when you going to get married? And it better be within um, 20, 30 days. You're not going to marry my, you're not going to string my daughter along for no year. I have people talking about they've been engaged for three years. That's ridiculous. And I asked the guy, I said, Who, where's her daddy at? Oh, she, it, it, she just has her aunt. I said, that's the reason why. I said, man, you are out of line. There's no way that you should be uh, um, engaged with that girl for over those those years. That's nothing to brag about. That's nothing to brag about. You're having sex with that girl, and and you and and you 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 just stringing her along. No, that's 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 out of order. You know, within a man knows within thirty to sixty days whether or not that you're gonna you want that girl to be your wife. Thirty or sixty days. It don't take long, especially if you got it, got it the right way from her daddy. It don't take that long. And, oh, I, 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 I gotta, I gotta arrange for the marriage. It's gonna take a year before. Uh, uh, no, no. Mm -mm. That, that wedding stuff, you get married. Get married. You can go to a preacher and he can marry you in his office. And if you want to plan a wedding after that, you can. But you're still married. You're still married. The marriage is the most important thing. It's holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. That's the most important thing. That's That's what counts. Not going together, boyfriend, girlfriend. There's no such thing. Baby, daddy, baby, mama, drama. That's 
that's destructive. Amen. That's destructive. That's no such thing, and that ain't anything to brag about. Nothing, nothing to brag about. You having a child and, and without the without wedding, without a, a matrimony. That's that's a sleaze. That's 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 nothing to brag about. You should be ashamed of yourselves because you didn't even check with your daddy. That's the reason why you you were in a problem like that is because you didn't check with your daddy. Your daddy wouldn't have never allowed that. You went on your own without the covering of your father. That's where a lot of girls mess up because they they picked the wrong person without the the covering of their father, the, the guidance of their father. The father is the key. Your father is the key of anything. Without the daddy, nothing works. Nothing. A man of God is the is the key. Okay? Can't say that enough. I can't stress that enough. I'm only talking to men of God. I'm not talking to the Pookies and the Ray Rays and the, the heathens out there. We're in this world, but not of this world. We are peculiar people. Peculiar. We're the last ones to be invited to a, to a, to a party. They really don't want us there. Okay? We, we are um, members, and we're in a members only club. We're the ones that are going through the narrow gate. It ain't no highway to heaven. It's a narrow gate. Narrow gate. So, uh, 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 it ain't one size fit all. A marriage is not one size fit all. The man will mold the woman and children to his specifications. He's the leader. A woman should be saying, what can I do to improve your, 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 uh, get onto your, uh, your, your plan? A woman finds a man, uh, a, a woman looks for a man that she can improve on his, get in on his, uh, his plan. But she's got to look like a wife. She looks like a wife and her daddy will guide her to her husband. Just as God guided, um, presented Eve to Adam. That's the way your father presents you to your husband. And he vets his husband, this husband, to make sure that he's worthy of his daughter's hand. Because a, a father, there is nothing more precious than his daughter. Nothing. And, a, and the son is an extension to the father. Acts just like the daddy. And if the, and if the, and the, the daughter is going to try to find uh, her, her future husband just, that is just like her daddy. Everything goes through the daddy. The woman is, her, his, is his helper. Period. Her purpose is man. Can't say that enough. All that crap that you're hearing about, um, I'm called to the ministry and everything, that's Satan you're listening to. Turn him off, Prince of the Air. He's turned him off, and his whole job is to destroy the family. We're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let that happen. Men, put your guards up. Make sure you don't. she don't go to church without you. Because you, you, the, you are the pastor of that house and you have to make sure that she's listening to something that's sound, sound doctrine. We've talked about that before. We're in a warfare here. I ain't being nice. I don't have time to be nice. We're, people are dying out here on the battlefield. We're in a war for the souls of the family. I don't have time. This ain't anything to be, um, we don't have time to get ourselves together because we're dying out here. 
Our families are being destroyed. No. No. Take your families back. Don't. Uh, and if your wife wants to leave you, let her leave. Leave the kids with you. Let her go. Let her go. But leave the kids with you. Those are your kids. That's your legacy. She can't do nothing with them but mess them up. Mess them up. She can't do it. She's not. She's not. Um, that's not her calling to raise children to to because uh, the children are nothing going to be nothing but emotional wrecks with her. She's going to teach the boys how to be emotional. And the most dangerous uh, creature walking the face of the earth is a man that's an emotional man. You step on his tennis shoes, he's going to go to the gun, go go out there and get a gun and blow your brains out. That's an emotional man because you stepped on his tennis shoes. Or he, you called him outside of his name. He can't take that. An emotional man. A little boy. Those are simps. That's guided with a, by a woman. Females, the girls, they're trying to find you because they, they don't know what you look like. If you if you if you're not around your daughter and and you let the mama raise the daughter, the daughter the only thing the mama wants is to, for the kids to like her. She's not gonna discipline the children. She's not gonna guide the children because that's not her God given mate um, duty. So she's gonna mess the children up, mess them up. Don't let her, let her let her leave if she wants to leave. Let her go. But you keep them children with you. Okay? That's important. That's important. That's your legacy. Them children, your legacy. Amen? I can't stress that enough. We're in a warfare here, people. We're in a warfare. We're losing our families. Women are disillusion, uh, illusion, delusional. They're thinking that they got it all together. They don't. They listen to Satan. Satan's telling them that they don't need you. That's the reason why we've got line dancing in, in, in the clubs now. Line dancing. They don't need no man. Every movie that you look at on TV has got a, a, a homosexual or lesbian relationship in it. And you got women, uh, women that are gladiators. Gladiator women. There ain't nothing sexy about that. We can't even have a football team, football game without a bunch of women up there trying to act like they're experts. They're going into our world. That's It ain't even fun to look at football nowadays. Come on now. They're out of line. Out of line. I want you to know that I do love you. Every now and then I have to do the tough thing. The reason why I do the tough thing is because we're in a warfare right now. We're in a warfare. We're losing our families. Satan is killing us. He wants to destroy your family. And he's and he's and he's using his weapons of mass destruction, TV, the telephone, and feminism to do that. And he's doing it. He's doing it. And you don't even know that we're in a war. And that's the problem. We're in a war. And he's playing for keeps. He's playing for keeps. He don't care anything about you. He wants your family and he wants the souls of our family. We're going to fight. We're standing on God's word. That's the only way that we're going to make it. And know whose you are. You have to know that. You have to know who, why you were designed. Man, you were a man of God. You're not no wimp. You're a man of God. You can take it. You can take it. You're not, you're logical. You're not emotional. 
the stuff that, that that's going around now, they want beta men. They want men to be sensitive. That's not what we're designed for. We're not we're not their friends. We're not your wife's friends. We are their leader. We're their lords. We are their head of households. We are their protector. We guide them. We mold them. We're not their friends. And it's not going to be, um, we're, we're not the knight in shining armor. This romantic stuff, marriage is a duty. It's a duty. It's not all, you're not going to be all romantic and everything, all that peaches and creams and taking her out to dinner all the, every night and like that you were courting. No, nah, those, those days are over with. You have a mission, and that's to raise the children. And, you, and the wife is supposed to help you do that. You set the tone. Amen. We're in a war. We're in a war. Satan is, 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 is kicking our ass. He's kicking it. We got we to gotta get ourselves together here. Amen. He's kicking it. He's destroying us. And we can't allow that to happen. Wake up. I want you to know that I love you. I'm very passionate about this thing. I'm very passionate. I dedicate my life for you. And to God. To God be the glory. We're going to win this. this. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to the promised land. We're going to win. But we but uh, we, we got to wake up. Wake up. Put our house in order. Look at that blueprint of God. Pay attention to his blueprint. He's got, it, he's, he's got it all worked out for us. All we have to do is stand on that blueprint. Stand on his word. Amen. I want you to know I love you. There's not anything you can do about it. I want you to know that, that I pray that um, that my lesson is reaching fertile ground and it will grow. Amen. I want you to know that I do love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And I will see you the next time. Until the next time, this is Reverend Sylvester Hampton. God bless you.